hello guys you're welcome to my channel this is Inky. today i'll be showing you how to make a dress form pattern and this is us a sneak peek into what you should be expecting in this tutorial so this pattern can be used to make a dress form and also for a dress pattern block itself so i'll start by inputting all the vertical measurements so I'm going to start from this. So as you can see, you can see the vertical measurements has been input already, starting from the shoulder through to the hip line and to the dress length itself. So the total dress length is um, 35 there about. You can make it 34, 35 depends on how you want it because remember it's a dress form pattern so but you can still use it for a complete pattern a dress pattern block so input the shoulder measurement then input the neck measurement that's three inches by 2.5 so three inches is the width 2.5 is the depth so as you input the neck measurement and you can see I've input the shoulder to shoulder measurement, which is 7.5. So, having done that, you have input the curve right now. You can see how I input that with my curve ruler. So, extend the line from the shoulder through to the upper chest, and that will be your arm o line it's almost the same thing with the way you input all your basic block measurements so input the nipple to nipple all through so the nipple to nipple measurement i'm using here is four inches it is eight but dividing it by two will give me four so i have input sewing allowance with it so i input four all through from the bust down to the full gown length i mean the full dress length so just input that with your straight ruler so that will be a guide for us so that will be a guide so after i have done that the next thing is to input the dart intake so since i'm going to make a bustier so i'm going to input two inches dart intake one inch on both that leg one inch on both that leg will give me two so i will do that on the under bust on the half length on the hip down all through so i'm going to connect it through to the bust line so you can see that i didn't get to the bust line to avoid pointed edge just come down from the bust line by almost one inch or three over four inches so connect it down then so while i was doing that i made a mistake that's why i cancelled the former line that was just so the next thing you can see the bustier is forming already then input all circumference measurement at this point the bust is 36 divided by 4 give me 9 then whatever i have on the bust line is what i'll place on the upper chest line I'll just add half inch so in east. So on the under bus, input all the dart intake before you input the circumference measurement. So the dart intake of two inches, even on the half length, will first of all be input or just add it to the former circumference measurement. So when I get to the hip also, I'll add the dart intake of two inches. You know, two inches has been taken already. We are going to remove that two inches. So add it to the measurement. So on the M line, you're going to subtract one and a half inch from the hip circumference. Then you input it on the M line of the dress form. So to bring out the shape properly. So I'm going to connect all the lines like so. So connect all the lines like so. Avoid sharp edges. So blend all your sharp lines. Just blend it with your free hand. Then 
after you have done that extend the shoulder slope by 2.5 inches because it's a dress form it does not have a sleeve so that 2.5 inches will serve as the sleeve then the slope on that shoulder line is extended by 2.5 inches so having done that I'm going to connect it to the upper chest line like so then that's my arm o cuff so having done this i have completed that part then i'll move to the back this is the back this is my zipper allowance of half inch so i'm trying to input the zipper allowance of half inch and um, that zipper allowance will be converted to sewing allowance later neck measurement is three inches that's the normal width standard for a woman three inch by one inch that's the standard so the depth is by one inch so then having done that i will just connect the the the, the points together with my free hand and my french curve so i'll take the shoulder the shoulder measurement is 7.5 then i'll connect it to the upper chest line so remember we have drafted our front then is the back we are drafting right now so just input the that measurement so like we did for the front input the dart the nipple to nipple which is four inches so so you're going to extend the nipple to nipple to the upper chest in this case so you won't get to the upper chest you just come down from the upper chest by one inch extend it to that upper chest then input that intake of half half inch half inch on half length you can see the difference here oh sorry one inch intake the way you did for the 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 front so one one inch on both ends of the dart leg so just input one inch on the bust line also input one inch so that's the difference also here on the upper chest input one inch so you can see that the, there is a difference between the dart intake here and that of the front so here come up by one inch and go down by one inch on the hip line so here also input that of one inch so i'm going to connect all the dots right now so that's the only difference the only difference is that we are trying to create a, a the butt area we want to create the a, a shape for this butt area we want the butt area to have a, a curvy shape so that's why we are doing what we call in that transfer on the on the waistline we are transferring the date that to the bust line so so you close up the dart on the hip line then you transfer it to the waist so that's what we are trying to do so that ship so that's the essence of doing this so it's just like what you do on the bust so input the circumference measurement at this point also considering all whatever you have a dart intake so that take of two inches will be added to my original circumference measurement divided by four on the bust line on the half length on the upper chest on the half length also on, and on the hip line so just input your normal measurement in but when you get to the hip line you don't have any dart intake here just input the uh, original hip circumference divided by four when you get here consider the two inches that intake also consider the two inches that intake on the m line here and i told you whatever you have on the hip line is what you will input on the m line just div deduct one inch from it to give it a shape the reason why this one looks straight this for the back it will look straight is because of the dart intake of two inches that is on the m line already so this pattern drafting is very very good and it's it makes your dress look beautiful 
So the shoulder slope, the way you did your shoulder slope for the front is what you are doing. You are repeating the process here already. Extend the shoulder slope by 2.5, then connect it to the upper chest line. That's what I'm doing here. The same thing. So this method can be used to make your dress. It can be used to make your elegant party dresses and um, your office wears. It can be used to make that. It's a very good method and it makes your dress look shapey. So you can connect your dart to the to the upper chest line like so to make a pointed edge uh, like this. So you can connect it to make a pointed end like this if you are not using it for a, a dress form. And you can still extend the line up, but make sure as you are extending it up, so you are going to add the allowance here. So if as I have extended, if I extend up, I'm going to add allowance. Then I'm going to do that with my bio. So here I have the bust here is what I want to modify here. So connect your bust. You can see what I'm using my bio to do. I just connect it to the neckline the neckline i measured 2.5 on the neckline i connect it and here i divided the shoulder slope into two and also connect this point to the shoulder slope divided into two so you can see my viral is what i'm using to do that the former line is just measure your neck neckline just measure the neckline and also divide into two or just measure 2.5 so here is dividing the shoulder slope into two also and connect it there so to create my bust line so whatever that intake you have extend it at this point so that's what i'm trying to do i'm trying to extend the dart intake because i have input the dart intake of almost um, three inches so that's what i'm extending and putting here to have my perfect um, measurement so this is another um, shoulder slope i have created because of the dart intake on the front pattern so here i'm trying to do something on the hip line so here the front hip looks more coffee than the back hip so i'm trying to transfer half inch dart intake to the back hip so i'm going to take off half inch from the front like so that's what i'm connecting then i will increase that of the back hip you can see i have used my barrel to do that then i'll create it more clearly so i am reducing half inch from the front hip then i'm transferring it to the back hip because of what the nature of what we are doing so you're going to create that so that it will be perfect it will just make the butt area to look more perfect and beautiful so so that one side will not be covered than another that's why i'm transferring the half inch to the back so here the curve there is a curve on the on, on the front pattern so i'm trying to create this curve here by the time i trim this off i must still maintain the curve on that end line the extended curve on the neckline is what i just created so here also i will extend the line up the two inches that intake, I will extend it up, and immediately I extend it up. That means the dart intake must be added on the shoulder slope, also the way I did for the front. The dart intake, this dart intake is two inches, it must be added on the shoulder slope, also to make sure everything is accurate. So I'm going to extend it here. So because I'm going to remove that two inches, so I will extend it here two inches. I will extend the shoulder slope by two inches here the way i did for the first for the front end pattern so having done that then i'll connect it to the upper chest like so this is my arm o curve so i'll connect to the upper chest like so the reason why i'm drafting it this way is because it is a dress form so so all the shaded areas will be removed so I'm going to, as I'm cutting it, as I'm shading all these areas, they will be removed eventually. So I'm going to remove all the shaded areas. So this dress dress pattern will be used to cut our dress form. 
So I'm going to use it to cut the, the, the fabric. That I'm going to pack all my uh, fabric trash inside. So as I'm just note how I'm um, cutting this, just note it the way I'm cutting it, all these parts that, has, that is being removed. So I'm going to use this to trace the neckline, the extension of the neckline here. You know, the neckline extends to this part. So I'm just going to use this to retrace it out. So this is the remaining part of the neckline. So having cut that out, this is how I'm going to place it. You can see the neckline is formed already and the posterior part, you can see how beautiful it will be by the time I place it. So I'm still going to remove this dart intake. So I'm going to remove the dart here. So you can see how we are going to join it together to make a perfect dress. So the front pattern, this is SF means the side front and um, you can see. So I will move on to the back. So I'm going to cut out the back like so. Just note where my scissors is passing through. And um, even without um, cut uh, joining, you have seen the dress is forming already. So the shape, the, the shape, the pattern is taking. So it is the neckline will be cut out like so. And um, you can see the butt area. You can see the butt is formed already. The butt is well formed. And this is the, the, the back. So I'm going to remove like half inch on the back so that this place also will, there won't be bulging around this area. So I just remove half inch and blend it towards the hip line also. So I'm going to take this out like so. Just note that. So just take this out. So you can do this even if you are adding a zipper. And even if you are not adding a zipper, it will make the, the back to lay well and be flat. And uh, the center back will be, just be, it will lay the flat on the back. So that's the essence of doing that on the center back. So this is the pattern, the front and the back. SF means the side front, SV means the side back. So you have the front, the CF means the center front. So this is what you have already. So I can take my pattern off and show you how you're going to join it together on your sewing machine. So you, you have two pieces of this and this front is being caught on fold. So this is the back. The SB is also two pieces. And uh, you have, note I have sewing allowance around it. So sewing allowance of half inch must be added all around your pattern. And we have come to the end of this tutorial. So the upcoming video will be on how to join this um, pattern together and how to make the dress form itself. So I'm going to um, take you through the process of um, um, the all the materials I'm going to use for the dress form and how it's being made practically. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, so this is an opportunity to subscribe, to be able to view more of our videos. And um, we have an online course ongoing. So if you have interest, you can contact the numbers on the screen to be able to register. So I will see you in my next video. Until then, take good care of yourself. Bye.